Hello and welcome to the training for creating a unit group in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016. So first things first, what we want to do is go into our product catalog. So we'll come up to the top, select settings and product catalog. You'll see over here that we have unit groups and we will create a new one. So the primary name for this Let's make it simple and name it Soda Pop. And let's make our primary unit a can. All right, we'll come over to the left hand side under common and select units. And we'll see we have that can there it created for us. We'll come up to the top and select add new unit. Let's say our second unit will be a case. The quantity will be 12. Our base unit will be a can. So to look at this in a little bit more depth, we have 12 cans per case, and that's what we're building here. So instead of just selling a can, if we decide to sell a case, we'll be selling 12 cans. Select save and close. So we can see here, that we have the case, which base unit is a can, and the quantity of that is 12. Let's add one more. Let's say box. Let's have our quantity be 20, and our base unit to be a case for this. go. So let's save and close. So now just to look at it logically, we have a can, which is our base, and then we have a case, which is made up of 12 cans, and then we have a box, which is made up of 20 cases. Now let's go and create a product. We'll select add product. Just name it cola. Now we'll come over and select the unit group that we just created, which is named soda pop. And our default unit, we'll select can. Let our decimal support it. And we will hit save. And now to really kind of tie this together to make sense why we would use a unit group and why you know we would create these units, we'll come down and select um, in the priceless items, select add. Select the price list. units here. If we had a discount list, we'd select it here. Let's say per can, because our unit here is listed as a can, let's say it's $2. We'll save and close. So now we can see in our price list items that we have a can for $2. Now let's add another one for our case. Again, we will select our price list. Our unit this time, though, we want to select a case. Say our amount for a case is $8. Remember, a case has 12, so they're getting a little bit of a discount there. Save and close. Now we can see both of our price list items here. Add one more for our box. And let's say a box is $45. Save and close. So now that we have our product created and we have our priceless items down and attached, 
what we want to do is publish this product to make it active. And now we will go and create an order. So let's just name this cola. Select our price list. Potential customer, select save. Now you'll notice before save, we aren't able to add a product, but once we save, we can. We'll come over and click add and existing products and type in cola. And you'll see here those priceless items that we added, a box, a case, and a can all exist. So this is where it really kind of ties that unit group in, into the full sales process. So let's say we want to sell some cans, $2, and say we want to sell 200 of those. And it adjusts the price for us. Let's say more than just singular cans, they want to buy some boxes from us. Price is 45. Let's say they want to buy 40 boxes. And it adds that into our total. So that's kind of the purpose of a unit group to tie these products together so you can sell it in different units, whether it be a can, a case, a box, a pallet, whatever your products need to be sold in. Thanks so much for watching how to create a unit group and we'll see you next time.